A Brief History of Stephen Hawking Stephen Hawking is mainly known for his fascinating discoveries and wonderfully written books, but like all stories, there's a lot more to it than meets the eye. For this, we need to go back to 1942. He was born in Oxford, England. From 1953 to 1958, he went to Athens St. Albans School in North London, where he developed a passion for mathematics, although his father wants him to study medicine for a good career. From 1959 to 1962, he specialized in physics at University College Oxford. Afterward, he graduates with a first-class degree in natural sciences. In 1963, he began research in cosmicology and general relativity at the University of Cambridge. He is diagnosed with an incurable disease at the age of 21, which is later to be found as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, a progressive disease that affects movement and speech. Persevering, he still continues with his research. In 1966, he completed his decorate, also known as a doctor's degree, and was awarded a fellowship at Gonville and Caius College, Cambridge. He worked on singularities in the theory of general relativity and applied his ideas to studying black holes. This is when he collaborates with the mathematician Roger Penrose, who is working at Burbeck College in London. In 1970, he discovered a remarkable property by using the quantum theory in general relativity. He can show that black holes can emit radiation. This is only the start of Stevens' fascinating discoveries. In 1973, he joins the Department of Applied Mathematics and Theoretical Physics at Cambridge. That same year, he discovers, doubtful, that black holes can leak energy and particles into space and even explode a fountain of high energy sparks. In 1974, his breakthrough discovery is published in the journal Nature in paper entitled Black Hole Explosion. This is when he started to want to write books. In 1977, he was appointed professor of gravitational physics at Cambridge. In 1979, he was appointed Lucian Professor of Mathematics at Cambridge and was elected as a Fellow of the Royal Society. In 1982, he was awarded a CBE by the Queen, also known as Queen Elizabeth. In 1988, he publishes A Brief History of Time, From the Big Bang to Black Holes, a classic introduction to today's most important scientific ideas about the cosmos. Recorded in the 1998 Guinness Book of Records as an all-time bestseller, this was a fascinating discovery for people around the world. In 1989, he was a Companion of Honor, which is a reward for outstanding achievements. In 1993, he published Black Holes in Baby Universes and other essays, which was a collection of scientific articles exploring ways in which the universe may be governed. In 1998, he published Stephen Hawking Universe, The Cosmos Explained, a book about the basis of our existence and everything around us. In November 2001, he released The Universe in a Nutshell in the UK, a book that reveals the mysteries of recent breakthroughs in physics. In September 2002, he releases On the Shoulders of Giants, the great works of physics and astronomy, an exploration of some of the greatest visionaries in the history of science, including people like Einstein. He also publishes The Theory of Everything, The Origin and Fate of the Universe, a book that presents the most complex theories of physics, past and present. In July 2004, Hawking announces that he has solved the black hole paradox, which has been troubling scientists for years. He presents his most recent findings at the International Conference of General Relativity and Gravitation in Dublin. In 2008, he officially retired, but in 2018, he unfortunately passed away due to motor neuron disease. While most of Hawking's findings are easier for a more educated audience to understand, his ideas could be utilized in teaching young adults and children because Hawking can motivate people to make new discoveries. His discoveries
discoveries can inspire people to learn more, persevere, be determined to continue something you love to do, be curious, and have young adults exploring all those ideas can be beneficial to our education system and society as well. As well as having young adults exploring all of our ideas, this has overall been beneficial to our education system and society as well. Stephen Hawking's great discoveries led to a wonderful world we live in today. He has taught people to have a growth mindset and believe in yourself. Hawking was well known of these facts, if only because of a brief history of time is arguably this best-selling scientific book of all time made by Stephen Hawking, as well as other books altogether. According to Hawking's memoir, A Brief History, his title is also referred to a most popular book that nobody can actually read. But this also goes back to, to that with enough determination that it is easy to change our society and the world as we know it. Stephen Hawking says in the interview that he has always been interested in space and mathematics and has always wanted to know how the universe operates and why. Above all, he has always been interested in the Big Bang Theory and black holes. They are where the universe came from and is going to, the beginning and end of time. He also says in the interview that he, if he had hadn't been thoroughly determined, he wouldn't have been there then. Due to Hawking's extremely difficult physical disability and mitrophic lateral sclerosis, also known as ALS, his work became harder and harder. Before he knew it, it was taking three times longer to do the basic things that he needs to research and make new discoveries. It was a time-consuming process, so we gave him most of our questions in advance so he could program his answers through his computer, says John Goodwin, his nurse. He set phrases that are pre-programmed to help him speak quicker and in a timely manner to help him make more discoveries and more breakthroughs. Remember to look up to the stars and not down on your feet. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder and what about the makes the universe exist. Be curious and however difficult life may seem, there is always something you can do to succeed at by Stephen Hawking. And be brave, be curious, and be determined. Overcome the odds, it can be done, but also by Stephen Hawking. The first quote by Stephen Hawking shows that with enough curiosity, it's possible to make a huge impact in our society. The second quote shows that with determination and curiosity, you can easily change our world and impact many people and inspire people to be better role models. Hawking has always been curious about time and space and how this world just keeps on spinning. And as history can prove, it took him a long way. Stephen Hawking is and was related to Chicago because he has inspired a museum to have a live audience lecture. And this lecture provided a biographical sketch of Hawking, the discussion of the origin of black holes, the an analysis of the physics of black holes that led to Hawking's most profound theoretical discovery, the promise radiation. This lecture will be an account of the speaker's personal interactions with one of the 20th century most brilliant scientific minds, also known as Stephen Hawking himself. His discoveries can inspire people to learn more because he has persevered and was determined to continue to do something he loved because due to Hawking's being diagnosed with an extremely difficult disability, ALS, resulted in his works becoming harder and harder. He was curious because having people explore all of his ideas can be beneficial to our education system and society as well. And he can inspire people because he has worked very hard throughout his life.
ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Ground control to Major Tom. Commencing countdown engines on Check ignition and may God's love be with you This is ground control to Major Tom Tom to ground control I'm stepping 